No, no. So, um, <laughs> you hear my son in the background here. He's, um, he's playing FNAF World, Five Nights at Freddy World. Um, and he keeps talking to himself. Anyway, um, I had the appointment with my current orthopedic spine surgeon. And he suggested that, sorry, I'm so shaky, I'm trying to get, <laughs> oh, really? um, he suggested that I go and see the original surgeon who actually took care, who did my spinal fusion. And he suggested this because essentially if the problem is with the fusion or something maybe that happened to the to that area or something that it has caused right a different surgeon going in to repair or do a new surgery he's not really going to know he's not really going to know his work and essentially it boils down to an artist knows his own painting knows his own music, knows the meaning, of, you know, they know their own stuff better than anybody else. And that includes the surgeon. They have their own way of doing things, their own, uh, you know, their own, I don't know what the word is. Anyway, um, I'm just tired. You know, so they work better when they have to go in and fix or uh, redo or any of those or anything there in between on surgery so I'm gonna go see uh, him probably later this month because tomorrow I have two appointments one is with just my regular PCP I have to go get my cholesterol medication um, no matter how healthy I eat or how much I exercise or what um, I don't smoke I don't do any of that but you know, hereditary cholesterol it's a pain in the ass. Anyway, um, so I have to see him, but I also have an appointment that I just, I don't want to keep, but I do. It's an appointment to get epidural lidocaine or steroid, I think it's lidocaine steroid injections um, into the bursts that are in my hip. My, the bursas in my hip are actually, uh, the psoriatic arthritis can attack those as well. And it has caused issues with them. And they are so badly inflamed that just a slight like touch like this is very painful. So it's very difficult for me to sleep. It's hard for me to sit if I sit slightly on one side. Since I have scoliosis, I do kind of have a tendency to be, you know, sit crooked. My scoliosis causes absolutely no problems to me. That's one of the only things, uh, one of my only medical problems that really doesn't cause me any issues. Um, and it hasn't caused any of this either. But um, the only issue it causes is that I am crooked. And my husband actually thinks it's hilarious. My friends are too. The only other thing it ever causes is when I play on the Wii, the Wii U, and we do the bowling. If anybody has ever had a Wii or a Wii U, you know that when, you know, it's wireless. And so you, when you do the bowling, you just, you know, act like you're throwing the ball, and you know, with the controller. And you, um, it throws the ball and it depends on where you're standing and, you know, how you throw it and all that. And um, mine always went so far, like just right into the gutter. So I had to adjust it where my character was standing almost all the way to one side. And then that's when the ball would actually go out, but it wouldn't go much further. It would hit the pins before it went too far. And my husband said it was because my you know, I stand crooked. So one time he adjusted me. He actually, he told me, okay, stand like this. It felt so weird. It honestly felt like I was standing like, these are my legs, you know, instead of like this, it felt like I was standing like this. <laughs> this is what it felt like I was, you know, cocked over to one side really far like this. But apparently, from what everyone told me, I really was standing straight. I did the bowling, 
and lo and behold, strike. And they laughed so hard, and so did I. I, th I thought it was kind of funny, to be honest with you. Um, and now they tease me all the time because I don't know how to stand straight. They, they, they will ingest me, and I'll go to throw it, and half the time I end up standing crooked again, and so it'll go off, and it's this big joke with them. They just think it's hilarious, and they just think it's funny to tease me, <laughs> which it is kind of funny, to be honest with you. We're just... That's kind of how our family is. We, we tease out each other about everything. Um, it's the way we love each other. Mm. Anyway, um, the procedure that I don't want to get and I'm avoiding talking about. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record this procedure because, and I'll kind of give you a little showing. My bursas are actually right about here. And this is this is my hip bone here. And this is right about where they would be. And that's where the injection goes. So, essentially, they get this humongous fat needle. Um, I've, I've seen the needle itself. I've never seen them doing it because of the way I have to lay down um, for them to do it. Excuse me. Um... Most of the time, actually, they put people to sleep for this because it is extremely painful. And my insurance won't pay um, for that part because I have other procedures that I have to have where they put me to sleep. And so I've been getting them for years without being put to sleep. And they are so extremely painful. The needle itself is painful, but that's not even the worst part of it. Uh, the medication is super horrible. It's horrible. And it's, it's the most painful part about the whole thing. And on top of it, my husband, and I never realized this, but he said that they take the needle out and then put it back and they'll move it around like this. And because they have to get all the areas where, you know, I'm guessing the bursas are not just, you know, this one tiny little dot. So they kind of have to get all the areas, and so they do move it around a lot. And it does not numb right away. I know most of you know that lidocaine is a numbing agent, but it does not actually numb anything for probably about 8 to 12 hours, somewhere in there. Um... And up until it does start numbing anything, it's, I'm actually pretty sore and it's hard to sleep, but it does help afterwards. Um, it has been, it helps not a whole lot, but it does help enough that I can actually sleep better at nights, um, which I, I like, I like to be able to sleep. I enjoy sleeping. It's awesome. <laughs> and I don't like not sleeping because it sucks. So Although I don't want the procedure. I'm going to get it. Oh, my God. And I don't know if I'll be able to, like I said, uh, record it because I'll be the only one in the room. And this is a different doctor. He's kind of a pain in the ass. So um, I don't know if my husband will be able to be there with me. So hopefully he can if his job will let him off. And maybe he can... Um, show you kind of record it so I can upload it but until then this is getting too long so peace out